show you a little bit more about the culture of how these products were built, because I think it might be interesting for you to hear that. I really want to share with you more of our team. So just watch this video really quick, and I'll be right back. It's an incredible moment when an idea that we had after so many months working really hard turns into a product. We brought some of the best people at Microsoft together to make this awesome device. One of the things that really drives us isn't that, oh, what a great idea. It's what a great idea and we can build it. The collaboration between the disciplines was this outstanding. We had a full-blown team of researchers, engineers, user researchers, industrial designers, interaction designers that all worked together. We couldn't ask for a better team than what we have right now. It's super important to not only care about the big idea, but also to care about the smallest details. It takes iteration to build the best device possible. Each time we made one of those revisions, we got progressively better and better. It took months and months and months of prototyping. We found it pretty exciting, complex. The technology was amazing. You start to realize that what we're making here is really special. The first reactions will be, wow. When you put the entire system together for the first time, I think that was a wow moment. When you pick this unit up, you viscerally understand that it's high quality. A PC that is everything you would want in a tablet device for consuming content. The next moment you can be uh, crafting an email or writing a term paper. When you're able to connect, you know, some sort of user experience to bits all the way down to Atom, that's where you start really seeing uh, new experiences evolve. I think you find that's a, that's a pretty powerful product. You're very proud of it. <laughs> You're going to get to meet a lot of the people you just saw in the video in just a few minutes. They're actually backstage right now, preparing to show you more details of the product and give you a few minutes to put your hands on it. Talk a little bit about the design. Let me start by doing that to just give you a quick preview of what you might see backstage in just a few minutes. You heard Steven and Mike both say it. This was built as a stage for Windows 8. That was part of our core vision for the product. It was very important for us that we had the hardware fade to the background for this product. It was important so the Windows software could rise to the surface. It gives you the best experience possible when the hardware fades away and what comes to the surface is that entertainment piece you want when you're using the device. Note the chamfered, ankles on, cham, chamfered angles on the side of this product. These are chamfered at 22 degrees. That's two things. One, it's a physical manifestation of the actual stage itself. You can see as it falls away, just as we intended for the hardware to do. But two, it actually sits perfectly comfortable in your hands. Now let me qualify something. I say perfectly a lot. I say perfect a lot. As part of our team culture, what was really important for us is we had so many parts of the design that had to be in detail and be simple and be right that we always strive for perfection on every subcomponent of this product. It includes this chamfered angle. What it does is sits in your hand very comfortably in a way that when you hold it, it feels light, it feels airy. Most importantly, you can use it all day in comfort. It's really important when you talk about the hardware fading to the background that the hardware is not in your way to accomplish what you wanted to do. It's meant to move you forward, which we think this product does. Now, when we talk about hardware fading to the back, another thing that's super important is the seamless lines throughout the product. When you look at this product, you'll see lines going throughout it, every line calculated, every line built, formed perfectly on the device. But there's one challenge. Our vision for the product, beyond being a stage for Windows, was also that we had to bring creativity and productivity to folks such as yourselves. The opportunity to transform this device, if you will, to transition it to the state of getting things done. Putting this kickstand in the product flies right in the face of seamless lines and getting it perfect. But we really spent a lot of time here. We knew that if we did not get the kickstand perfect, this device would not work. We could not take any chances. Take a look at the three hinges that you see within this device. This is a really simple example of the details of the product. These are three custom-made hinges. Mind you, there are over 200 custom parts built from the inside out of this product to make it come to life. But these hinges, they were spec just as Stephen told you. They were spec to feel and sound like a high-end car door. 
When you close the device, the kickstand just goes away. It's not in your way. When you need the device, it's there, just in time. You want to get something done, just open it. And it feels great. The spec we created was around sound. We iterated over and over again in our anechoic chamber. This is a critical point. We really wanted to get the sound right, so you get that visceral feeling, that emotional attachment to your product when you open this kickstand and close it. It makes it yours. It goes away when you don't need it, and it's there when you do. Now, we talked about VaporMag a few times, and let me bring VaporMag to life just a little bit here so you can understand a little bit more of what we did. VaporMag essentially becomes what lets us get our product design and create life out of it. You can see the breakout behind me. Let me just explain a few things that we have going on. I'm holding up my room key. It feels weird to hold up my room key. But if you look at this quickly, what you'll see is 0.77 millimeters of thickness. This is an important point. If you can't see it, that's all right. Same as a credit card, pull it out. Your credit card's likely somewhere between 0.75 or 0.85 millimeters thick. It's just to illustrate a point. Vapor mag is a process where we start with an ingot of magnesium and we melt it down to a molten state. We then injection mold the magnesium through some tools and we're able to actually mold the intricate details that are needed for surface. We mold down to 0.65 millimeters of thickness in any given part, 0.75. We mold to 0.65. This is important to understand because for us to get to the design we needed for this product, to get the kickstand integrated seamlessly and hold this line throughout the product, we had to be able to mold to those tolerances. Every micron matters within Microsoft Surface. We've actually stacked up every part from designing from the inside out so tightly in the product and so cleanly that even if you stuck a piece of tape in the middle of the device, it would bulge. It would bulge out. That tells you how strong this product is, how much strength comes with it, how light it feels in your hands. All those parts play into each other. The best part about Vapor Mag is not just that we can mold the 0.65 and get the intricate details like the 0.65 millimeter angles that go around the product, these radii. The best part is the smoothness of the finish that comes out of the tools. After approximately 152 steps to get the Vapor Mag looking just like you see now, you find that the surface finish on this product, and as Mike says, pride and craftsmanship, is perfect. It's seamless. It screams watch quality finish, and when you put it in your hands, it feels elegant. When you touch it, you're going to want to hold it. I promise you. Now, I'm proud of VaporMag, and I'm proud of the team for the product that they've done, but nothing, nothing stirs me more. Nothing gets me more excited than touch, touch cover. I really want to walk you through touch cover for just a few moments. This is an important technology that came out of our group. I'm going to walk you through it in two ways. The first way is through the experience, and the second way I'm going to talk about is the technology. Let's do the experience first. Let me explain to you what we try to do with touch cover from the get-go. You'll notice I'm going to connect it now to my blue touch cover. So I just click it in as you would expect. The surface turns blue along with my touch cover, and you have a beautiful integration of hardware and software. My surface knows what is connected to it. I can now bring to life the vision that is touch cover for this product. The vision that lets you produce content when you want it, how you want it, as fast as you've always done it. That's what this product was designed for. Let me give you one more second on this, on a little bit of the experience. The thing that was so critical for us in creating touch cover was that it had to be three millimeters thin. This essentially is at odds of any other keyboard you've used and still have a great typing experience. It also had to be a cover you wanted to connect, something you always had with you, something that gave you confidence, just like the kickstand, to bring this product to life. We've designed a flux fountain of magnets in this product. That's a combination of alignment and clamping magnets. You could actually never miss connecting this device. You can't miss. We force you to not miss. We do that to give you confidence. You close it, it feels like a book. We designed this organically like a book. We wanted it to feel just like that. What has more covers on it than books themselves? 
This spine feels like a book. When you put it in your hand and you walk away with your product, you'll hold it like a book. When you carry it against your books, it'll feel like it's another book. It's just light enough and it feels just perfect. Now, that said, I think you're going to fall in love with touch cover. I know I have. I mean, I am seriously in love with it. Outside of my wife, touch cover is number two. It's very important to me. Now, I never want to take touch cover off. And I'd argue that you don't need to and you never have to. You saw Mike move his touch cover to the back. Now, when he did that, I'm sure every single one of you thought, like, wait a minute, how do you move it to the back? Well, touch cover is pretty smart. It has an accelerometer built into it. The moment you fold it back, we know you fold it back. We know when you're not using it, and it's turned off for you. So you never have to take it off. And underneath your fingertips, it feels great. So now you've got a comfortable device with touch cover that's yours. It's personalized to you. You saw the beautiful colors that we have coming to market. And essentially, what's brought to you is an experience like none other with touch cover and surface together. Now, I showed you the experience, but I want to just show you the technology because it really is important that you understand it. And quite frankly, we have a bit of a mad scientist who many of you know named Stevie Batiche. Stevie actually invented touch cover. The fact that we have 30 years of input experience using mice and 15 years creating keyboards, we really understand how to create a great typing experience. We also knew that if we brought you touch cover and touch cover wasn't any good, boy, what a breaking moment. But we've actually evolved this technology to a point through Stevie and his work to come to a place where we've brought you an experience that's amazing at typing. There's actually seven layers squeezed in, pressed right into touch cover to keep it three millimeters thin. Now that's super thin, but critical for you to have a great experience when folding it back. Let me explain to you how the technology works just ever so slightly and quickly. So what you're going to see is I'm going to put my hands down on this uh, uh, machine here. What you're seeing is this is Surface for Windows RT, and my hands are down on touch cover. You'll notice that my hands are laying flat on touch cover right now, yet nothing's happening. If this was, in fact, a capacitive screen, or the phone you might have in your pocket, or some other device you might have, the keyboard would take up half the screen, and you put your fingers down, and it would look something like that. Now, that's me actually pressing on touch cover, and it knows the grams of force coming off my fingertips onto touch cover. Why is this critical? When you type in touch type speed, you have to find your home position and rest your hands. To do that, your keyboard can't fire when you put your hands down. It's comfortable, you can rest your hands, and note as I put pressure on the J key, how the pressure goes up as I push harder, and as I release, the pressure comes off. It's actually measuring every gram of force coming off my fingertips. And as I start to type, it knows how many keys I've hit. This keyboard actually measures 10 times faster in scanning from a keyboard matrix than any keyboard guaranteed that you use today. It is super fast and brings great, great opportunity for you to be productive and get stuff done. Obviously, I have a lot of pride in this product. I hope you love it. I can't wait for you to get your hands on it back there, and I really mean that. Stephen, thanks for having me up here today. That was a moment for our team, for sure. I do want to talk a little bit about some availability and pricing information and things like that that I know, that I know people want to know. Surface for Windows RT, oh, and there, I still say there'll be much more information available on the web and uh, um, available shortly. So Surface for Windows RT will be available in both a 32 and a 64 gigabyte model and will be priced like comparable tablets that are based on ARM. Surface for Windows 8 Professional will come in 64 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte storage models and will have a retail price comparable with competitive Ultrabook class PCs. Additional specifics on pricing and packaging will be announced as we get closer to retail availability. Now, of course, retail availability for the Surface PCs will be around the time of, uh, will be at the, for the Windows RT PC, will be at the time of the Windows 8 general availability. And for Windows 8 Pro, about three months later. Surface will be available through the Microsoft's physical stores here in the U.S., and will be available through, select online, through the select online outlets of the Microsoft Store as well. So welcome, everybody, to Surface. I just want to invite Steve Ballmer back up on stage one more time, and thank you. Thank you very much.
I want to thank Stephen and Mike and Panos uh, and their team. Uh, this has been an unbelievable uh, journey. We've invested significantly, uh, as you can see, in talent, in time, in capital, to bring the surface to market. I was asked in the, the last few days here, why now? Why now? We took the time to really get Surface and Windows 8 right, to do something that was really different and really special. We're very proud, very, very proud of the Surface, just like we're very proud of Windows 8. Because of Windows 8, because of Windows 8, the Surface is a PC. The Surface is a tablet. And the Surface is something new that we think people will absolutely love. We really want those of you here to have a chance to see and touch the Surface and talk with some of the people who are involved in designing the product. We have several stations set up next door where you can see the work that went into the creation of the Surface. And uh, we hope you'll, you'll stay and join us for that. Uh, today has been uh, fun for us to put on for you, very, very exciting, and I want to thank you all for being part of today's event. Thanks.